All right, guys, now here we are with the RTX 3090 Zotac, the 381. And here it is in all its glory. And well, first thing, I really like the fact that there are no uh, warranty stickers, so you, you can open this one without voiding the warranty. So now here we go with the disassembly. We will be opening this card. This is the actual box. Um, it's, a top of, it's a top of the line card, so it's gonna be interesting to see how they repaste it and in general, uh, what it looks like inside. So now let's go. Now, as you can see, uh, removing those four screws is not enough to open the card, even if we apply more pressure. This means that there are more screws. And in fact, it's those two right here. So now let's go and let's open those ones up. Okay, got the first one. And now I got the second one. Now let's see if now we can open up the card. Ah, uh, it's still kind of resisting. But the fact that it's, it's still resisting just means that you have to use more force, so no worries. Once you remove those six screws, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, you can just open it up uh, with quite a bit of strength. And here we go. It's actually coming out. Let's see what it looks like. And here it is. Uh, you know, I really don't like what I'm seeing so far because this thermal pad uh, is in pretty bad conditions and the paste is not that bad, but it's kind of dry. So guys, uh, repasting this card and maybe even changing the thermal pads is gonna really help. So now we're gonna do just that. Actually, the first thing which we're gonna do is quite simply try to fix this thermal pad now, the thermal pads have to be exactly over the memory chip. Now, this one isn't, so now I'm gonna try and remove it uh, without breaking it, um, you know. All right, and now I'm gonna simply place it where it should be. So, right over the memory chip. And that's it. Now, th this is gonna be way better for the card, like for real. Just this little thing alone. Now just wanna press it a little bit to make sure. And as you can see on the other side, uh, it's there as well. All right, now I guess we can just go on with the repaste. Okay, now the first step is to quite simply clean off the paste with some tissues and some alcohol. You just need isopropyl alcohol. And now here I just have those, you know, already, um, those tissues with already alcohol on them, but you literally can just pour some alcohol over, you know, a random piece of paper or cloth, and that's gonna be just fine. So, all right. Uh, you know, clean it off um, might take a while, but you wanna do it properly, because you don't wanna mix uh, um, thermal base, because they could actually have a reaction or something, and you actually don't need to clean off what's over the dye like around it, so this is fine. Now I will clean it off just cause I like it too, uh, but you don't have to. And then you also have to remove it right here. Now I will finish this one off camera, so see you in a sec. All right guys, now as you can see it's shiny and it's finally time to apply, to apply some new paste. Now what I actually use is GD900, mostly because it's cheap and it's very similar to MX4, but you can also use MX4 cause it's readily available on Amazon and Newegg. Uh, so I actually recommend this one. Then if you want to go for a little bit of higher performance, I recommend you use Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. But again, we're gonna go with this one. Now on GPUs, you don't need to put very little paste. Uh, what I like to do, just to be sure I get enough, is the cross method. Now this will spread a bit of paste on the edges, but since the paste is non-conductive, that's not a problem. So now I will show you how I do it. I just make a cross. And again, this is too much paste, guys, but too much isn't a problem. I've actually made quite a bit of videos about it. And then I also like to spread it a bit, uh, which again, not necessary, I just like to do it. 
as you can see, and just spreading it all around. Uh, but you really don't have to. Like, I can't stress this enough. You can just put um, a cross or a, just a dot. Just put enough, because if, if you put too little, man, uh, this is not uh, a CPU, this is a die. So you're gonna kill your GPU if you put too little. All right, now, now that I have pretty much everything covered, I'm gonna just slap the sync back on and the pressure is gonna do the rest. So now let's go. Okay, now time to close it up. Now you, you, you can do it in two ways. You either put the heatsink back onto it or you put the GPU back on the heatsink. I like to do the latter because this way I can just look through the screw holes here and see if it's properly aligned. And this really saves time. So now here we go. Just look through them and try to get it right. And there we go, uh, it's actually perfect, it's aligned. Now it's time to actually close it up with screws. Now, while doing that, you want to follow an X pattern in order to have, uh, you know, proper pressure and not to break your GPU. So just screw it in a, uh, a little bit, then do an X, then put the other shoe and then screw it uh, all the way. And then, you know, for the two screws here, just put them in, they are not a big deal, they just hold uh, the plastic thing attached to the heatsink, they're not gonna break anything. And here we are with the actual finished product. The card is visually as before, uh, but it's just that much better, you know? Swapping the thermal pad like that uh, might help prevent some thermal throttling, might help prevent the card from shutting off the system, and it's gonna be just overall better. Now doing this, will improve the life of the card and will also drop your temperature. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, because now I'm recording it in January of 2021, uh, so, you know, this card is pretty much new, but like if you are like in 2022 or 2023, you might drop like 30 degrees. Right now, I probably dropped like 10, I will check it. All right, guys, now here I am after running a couple of tests and well, as I thought, we dropped 12 degrees. Uh, that's why the running heaven benchmark, 70% fan speed, same case as before, same drivers, same day. Um, so yeah, uh, should you open up your GPU and should you replace it? Yes, especially if it's a power hungry card like the RTX 3090. And again, double check those thermal pads, they might hit your card. And this just shows that manufacturers could improve um, how they paste their cards, but then again, it's also fun that we can improve them ourselves. So yeah, this is about it. Um, this is everything from my Watson PSUs. See you guys in the next one. Bye.